See right here, a large group of former Delphi workers uh, coming to Dayton to hold a rally and urge Congress to end its 13-year battle to receive the benefits they believe they deserve. 2,000 salary Delphi workers lost their health care and had their pensions slashed during the GM bailout in 2008 and 2009. News Center 7's Mike Campbell has followed this story with its twists and turns, legal losses and legislative wins. Mike spoke with workers trying to take their last two steps to victory. One of the last remaining standing former Delphi plants is here in Kettering along Women Drive, now owned by Tenneco. And the salaried employees that worked here have been fighting a 13-year battle to restore their pensions. Pass that bill! Pass that bill! Several hundred retired Delphi workers turned this informational meeting into a rally, urging the U.S. Senate to pass the Susan Muffley Act. It's a bill already passed by the House of Representatives in late August that would give these retirees the back pay from the pension they lost 13 years ago and provide them full benefits going forward. Dayton Congressman Mike Turner sponsored the bill and has held hearings that uncovered what happened. The other task force under the White House of picked winners and losers. Turner said that when General Motors and Delphi declared bankruptcy in 2008, the task force put in place by the Obama-Biden administration organized a bailout. The bailout restored full benefits to blue-collar line workers, but not to their white-collared salaried workers that worked in plant offices and world headquarters. Those workers then formed the Delphi Salaried Retirees Association, or DSRA. So yeah, it has been quite a long journey for us. Bruce Gump said their 13-year fight included a lawsuit that ended when the Pension Benefits Guarantee Corporation declined to hear their appeal. I will always believe that lawsuit was righteous and we should have won. But the retirees didn't stop working. They brought more pressure and enlisted allies like Turner. That when you're in the right, you don't back down. We never have and we won't. And so Turner said President Biden has promised to sign the Muffley Act if it passes through Congress. So with the House already giving it a thumbs up, these Delphi retirees had one thing to say to the Senate. Almost 2,000 or 10 percent of the retired Delphi workers live here in the Miami Valley and they say after 13 years it's time that they win a complete victory and have their health care and pensions restored to them. In Kettering, Mike Campbell, News Center.